Fanty Bridge. Fanty Pant Bridge. I broke my inReach Mini. Can you even saunt it? I literally just went to adjust it. I went to pull it down on the strap and it freaking snapped. $400. I've had it for a couple of weeks and I've been on one ride with it and it broke. I mean the actual thing still works I'm sure but uh, still garbage. I got one battery in my pack and one battery on my camera. I threw away my, my power bank because it was swelling up and I didn't want it to catch fire on the back of my helmet. So I quit that kind. Now we're gonna do a loop. So I'll have to switch the battery half some way down and I still might not have enough because it's an eight mile loop and uh, we're not sure how long it's going to take. So best case scenario, I got maybe 45 minutes worth of battery on each one. So probably an hour and a half tops recording. So if we don't stop too much and we make good time, I may or may not be able to get it all. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll acquire another power bank before next time. And I'll turn you on. When we get started, I'm not going to turn you on until we actually get on a loop. All right, stay tuned. Okay, we're not quite on A. Almost wiped out there, big time. It's rained so much in the last week. It's like a totally different trail. I've almost wrecked more times. I mean, I have almost wrecked more times today than ever in my life. Because of all the deep mud and the slippy and the slidey. And Bob is just leaving me in the dust. Fifty-five-year-old Bob has put me to shame. There's a big dip. Ugh. I wonder if it's his KTM suspension. I wonder if his suspension is just so much better that he can just float through this stuff like nothing. Maybe he's just a way better rider. Or maybe a combination of the two. Oh yeah, that's some muddy shit. What? The average speed went to 12.1, maximum 27.1. Yes, yeah, you're hauling ass. <laughs> you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's way muddier. Can't wear my goggles because it's too hot slash you fog over too much. I gotta be careful not to whack my eye. I don't know why Bob's so uh, interested in his time. Every time, oh, we did did it in this amount of time. Or, who gives up how long it took you? Like the important part is you get out safe, you have fun, you don't hurt yourself. Oh, see, this sucks right here. I meant to grab my ratchet strap and stuff one inside in case I needed to hoist us out of a hole somewhere. Oh, this is way worse. I honestly can't believe how wet it is. I don't know why I thought it would be drier.
Bob seems to think the reason my bike died last time is because it was overheating. But I mean, it's, it's liquid cooled. Now, I did actually notice when I was checking everything the other day that the liquid had, the coolant was a little low. I don't know if it had just always been that low, but maybe it wasn't full from the dealer. That got washed out. That got washed. Didn't it? Oh, there's no way. Let me get my bike to a safe spot. I'll help you, Bob. I said, let me get my, my bike to a spot where it won't fall and I'll help you. Yeah, your bike must be a lot lighter than mine. If there was no room for mistakes before, there's damn sure no room for mistakes now. No room for air. What do you think? Can we try it? I'm assuming I'm going to try it. I just want to know if you're going to try it. Let me get up there. Let me look. Oh yeah, we got that. I'm coming! You okay? Right. Okay. You just wait up there. I got worried about the wood. You want to tell me when in doubt, pin it. I'm joking a little bit. You might not want to be there because I'm not going to wear the most going to go.
Okay, this is it. I turned around, like right here last time. So I've never been farther than this, give or take a few feet. didn't bail out though so I guess he's good but he's definitely going way faster than I am Jesus yeah er, when before we left he said he's figuring two and a half hours 7.55 miles on the B trail we were out for an hour and a half but we did stop for a solid 20 to 30 minutes chopping wood that was in the trail and the actual bee loop the whole thing is I believe it's a uh, five miles so this should only be three miles more but if it's rougher terrain as it clearly is and it's definitely slower going as it clearly is then yeah it may very well take us every bit of two and a half hours No, I think it's neither. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It might take us to B, but this is definitely A. Yeah, this is definitely A. No, I think it's straight ahead. I think that's what the tree's for. I think that's why it's tied. Based on my brief weekend uh, review of trail markings and how they work, yeah, I see now we got a red blaze here, so this is definitely the trail. Woods. Oh shit, Fanty Bridge. Fanty Pant Bridge. Yeah, I definitely think my bike must have been too full, full with oil and that's why it was dying last time because it's hotter today than it was then and I've already been riding a lot farther. And I haven't had any issues. Don't, I'm not trying to jinx myself or anything. but. That's the scary part, is the water holes. Because you don't know how deep they are. Oh, here we go. Is there another way more up that way? Up that way? Not that I see. How is it blocked off? Oh, we're not going down there. We're going straight. I'll 
I'll come out here one day with Ruger. I'll buy a few hundred blazes on Amazon or wherever you get them. And I'll come out here with Ruger and a pack of hammer and nails and I'll mark all these goddamn trails. I'll mark it like it's supposed to be marked. Where anywhere you're at, like anytime you're a blaze are the are the signs that are on trees, either a painted marker or a, a carving into a tree or a metal insignia tagged in there. Those are called blazes. And you should never be out of sight of one, ideally, on a trail. Ideally, when you're at a blaze, you should be able to look far down the trail and see another blaze. And if it's a two-way trail, then that should apply to both directions. Yeah, so yeah, this is where I would have been confused. Just bark busted that tree. Yellow blaze, don't know if you saw it. I'll try to point them out. There's a red one off trail. Don't know if you saw it. Presumably the trail went that way at one point, and that's why it's way over there. Because they shouldn't be way off trail. They should be on on trees that line the trail. Yellow blaze that was on the left tree. Pink ribbon. I should have told Bob I have pink marking tape. So if we run across more areas we're unsure of, we can tie them off. Almost went down. That should be three miles. So we should have five left. Assuming those mile markers are correct. And I'm not sure how you could really get lost unless you somehow got onto a game trail. But I can't imagine there's any game trails that are marked out this well. It's not like you have herds of cows moving through. Yeah, he definitely has better suspension. Because these roots are fucking me up. Putting my bike in every which direction. And he's just floating through this stuff like nothing. Three miles in though, my hands are getting worn out. Remember, first time I've ever ridden this trail. And I've 
only been riding dirt bikes for a couple years. Not even. Yeah, Bob is leaving me in the dust, man. about that. You trying to get in that rut. Man, how you figure they get gravel out here? How you figure they get gravel out here? I've gone a hundred yards since I turned the camera off. I've got to turn it right back on. You hadn't missed anything. A couple of small hills, a couple of puddles. Like I get being nervous out here alone. I don't think I'd be nervous out here with two people. Especially one that has a gun and has an SOS. You know, I got an emergency beacon. If something happens, we'll have somebody here in a couple hours. At worst, half a day or so. Of course, I'm not 55. I'm 48. So 55 probably hits different. And I might be a little bit nervous, more nervous at 55. Holy shit. Nervous about that for sure. That shook loose a turd, I believe. I believe I, I believe I scared a turd halfway down the chute on that one. He really do be leaving me. He must have gone a different way. Because Bob is fucking gone. Whew. I know I need better, uh... I know I need better tires. I should have researched tires better. Instead of just putting the same ones back on. Oh, that bridge looks sketchy as shit. Just plaster red bla tra bla hey, trailblaze. Yellow trailblaze. Where the fuck is Bob gone? There's four and five. I don't know what the fuck that means. Maybe I was too short with Bob, so he just left my ass. I'm like, okay, Bob, let's go. He's like, oh, you want to go? I'll fucking go. Bye. Whoo! Yeah, I'm getting tuckered. lost my fucking phone. Dude! Oh my god! Oh 
no. I know. That's not good. Maybe she wasn't fully seated. I hear Bob. Yeah, these roots are deadly. They take you right out. Trying to fucking leave me, Bob? Huh? Trying to fucking leave me? <laughs> Dude, you are so fast. But you might be slow compared to some badass motocross 24 year old. Compared to me, you're fast as shit. I am definitely overheating. We're down to 11 miles an hour. <laughs> Give me a lead for a while? Huh? Give me a lead for a while? Yeah. Okay. Yellow blaze. Oh, I stand corrected. As far as, as good as we're gonna get it.
Oh, I love my little tractor. I thought we said don't pass, Bob. I guess he's allowed to pass me. I'm just not allowed to pass him. He must have heard me talking shit. Yeah, I just literally fell while I was standing there. I was just trying to turn around and look at you. You want to keep going or super shortcut the parking lot? That's up to you. I'd rather take the long way. So I'm getting kind of overheated. I'm not, I'm not going to argue. I'm having a good time. I don't want to say that oh, I want to do this and then get in over my head. I'm having a good time too, but I got way more shit than you. And I'm literally about to die. Okay. Well, I'll let you do it. Oh, I feel like a quitter. I'm going to have to do this one first thing in the morning on an early morning ride when it's nice and cool and I'm rested and I haven't already ridden 10 miles off road. I'm dying. It is very hot. I we took the shortcut out. I think the camera died shortly after we took that exit. And that was actually scary. <laughs> Honest to God, the, probably the toughest part of the trail was getting out on that shortcut in Lupe. There were some spots that I was unsure whether or not I was gonna whether or not I was gonna wreck. But I've got so much gear on and I'm just I cannot I cannot cool off. 
but I just want to give you an update. I'm going to charge this battery up. I'm going to attempt to hit the whole thing tomorrow, which is going to be a hell of a proposition considering I've only done half of it. But yeah, I'm going to try to hit the whole thing in the morning early, assuming it's not too humid and not too hot. If it's humid and hot, fuck it. I ain't doing it. Because this is miserable. I'm miserable right now. They said it was going to be more humid. That's why I wanted to get out yesterday and the day before, but I just couldn't make it. Well, here's the situation. It's uh, probably shaky because I don't have it on a stick. And I've got hyper stabilization off because uh, I got an ND filter on. It's probably making it dark because it's not that bright out here. But it doesn't matter because ain't nothing to see because I'd unpacked everything up. I woke up at five this morning because it was incredibly hot. <laughs> it was already 60 degrees and it was 85% humidity. And I was like, well, I don't think I'm gonna be riding this shit today. So now I watch the morning news and they're like, oh yeah, dew points in the 60s, humidity's rising. Like, yep, summer's here in the middle of spring. So get used to that shit. So yeah, I loaded her up, taking her to the house. It never packs up as easy on the way out as it does on the way in. I got the entire truck just stuffed full to the brim. I had half the shit in the back seat. I mean, in the back of the truck last time. You can't even, definitely can't sunt nothing inside with the filter now. But trust me, it's packed full. Pretty sure this is gonna stay. This was full of wood and strapped to here, but one of my freaking rubber straps broke. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. And incidentally, when we went to St. Augustine last week, oh, you're definitely not gonna be able to see that. There's a mark in the window right there. You think, oh, it'll come off. No, no, it's like, it's like scratched on there. And I'm lucky it didn't break because that's when one of these popped that I had really taut. So I'm lucky it didn't break the window. So I got to come up with a better system actually. I'm not, I'm not digging these, uh, these cords with the metal hooks. But, oh, 9 a.m. So yeah, I was up at five, made coffee. Didn't really have enough wood to attempt breakfast. And so, I slowly packed her up over the last couple hours. And uh, we're out of here. So I did, only got half an A loop, but I'm probably gonna wait until I get the rest of it or the whole thing to put this whole video in, but I may not, I don't know, we'll see. All right, that's it.